Welcome back everybody to another episode of Banished 1.6 Beta with me, Vapor. And what I've done now is I'll just let the game run a little bit. I'll chill and pause it. And we've got our glassworks and our brickworks built. And I've also, just in preparation for what we want to do in this episode, I've cleared and flattened this area ready for the, the pig farm. And we could probably do with another bridge somewhere somewhere around here so we'll put that in as well um i was having a chat with uh, shock puppet over at black liquid the people behind colonial charter and for those of you that either visit their website or follow on reddit you'll see that they've announced that the game or should i call it the pre-release of 1.6 will be out at some point this weekend probably early weekend <laughs> they've, they've not exactly given the specific time but you know at least at least you know it's going to be out this weekend and you can all get your hands on it and you can all kind of get into what i've been getting into and realizing the new construction chains and things like that i also spoke to him about the textures and some of the models in the buildings and they have done a lot of work on that he did confirm that and you can kind of tell to be honest i, th I don't know if that's a different building but for example, this one is completely different, and it looks so much better, which is really cool. I, I even think the houses look slightly different, but maybe it's because I've not built these types for so long. So yeah, though, some really positive news for you, for you banished heads out there. <laughs> right, also, I've started the construction of our trading post, because I'm thinking... I don't know if I want to put a quarry in, but we need to start thinking about trading. I could do firewood. So there's lots of trees over here. I mean, it's a bit of a... When I look at it, it's kind of segregated. So I might actually set up some more foresters and things over here. So we will chuck another bridge in. We'll put one here, I think. Ready. And we'll just sell firewood for a start, I think. Well, that's the plan, but I just want to keep expanding on the food. Now, we can start making these if I want to, which we will, because we're going to start building our town over here as well. But first off, I would be right for people. I'm going to put an extra person in each of these buildings. Whoops. Yeah, we, want, we want one, so we can do that. And the same again, just because... The, let's have a look. If we take the sand, for example, produced 90 last season. It's probably going to be rough the same this season, but this is using 23 sand for the glass. So, yeah, we're, we're going to need at least another person and probably more buildings. And also, if we take a look at the paths. Now, are they traveling very far, the people who are living in this? Not too bad at the moment. It might be worthwhile, though. If we get a couple of houses just in here. I don't want to expand too quickly, obviously. I'm not going to put anyone in there just yet. Because I can't really trade anything. So and we'll do a dirt road. Straight past the building. Is there a path here? I think there is. Yep. Yeah. I've also switched this building to make firewood for the moment as well. Because we don't need the lumber. Anyway, enough chatting. <laughs> Oh, we've got this bridge as well, which I've snuck in. So, while we're on the road panel, we'll put a road. Right, so we need some standard pastures. Now, might leave a bit of a gap. Let's say, let's start here. I'm going to do it slightly bigger. What size did I do before? Because I can't remember. I know it needs to be a little bit bigger. 15 by 10. So if we do maybe a 15 by 15 or something like that, I don't even know. That's 15, that's quite big actually. But see how that goes, that should build quite quickly because there's nothing in the way. But we want two of those, so can we fit another one here? No. I'll leave a little bit of a gap. There we go. We also need some butchers, hence why I've left a bit of a gap here. So, we need a, a venison butcher, so that'll be deer. Because we've got the the hunting lodge, which is going to make venison. Now, 
I'm assuming they will take that all the way up here to here, but maybe need a barn closer down here. And that's the point in here. Oh, the point in here as well. Well, that's kind of cool. It's all about these guys actually getting it, but it should be alright. So, maybe if we put them. I'm tempted to leave a bit of a gap. Just, again, I like to decorate, so I'm just trying to kind of plan it out in my head. There we go. We will need a couple more houses over here, that's for sure. I think we'll get away with a couple here like that. Okay, that's got to remove some of the resources that are in the way there. That's fine. Just run a road at the back. Actually, we'll, we'll go all the way around. So. Alright, so that'll start solving that problem. We'll probably run a... I think it's about rows. Also, if you hold the shift key... See, like, if I do that, it's going to do a perfect right angle. If you hold shift, it will do a diagonal road. Just a little tip there for people that might not know. I don't particularly like roads like that. I do prefer the more, let's call it conventional Roman road. <laughs> let's keep it straight. So firewood, we're not producing a great deal of. Let's, let's look at that first. I really do want to expand, but we've got, we've got to be kind of prepared for for every eventuality, let's do new, new trees. If I do this right, I could probably get quite a few in. So if we put one about there, so let's keep that pinned, just so I can see that little yellow circle. I know it's kind of hard to see. And it allows me, I don't want to overlap, if I can possibly help it. it might slightly overlap there, but not too much. Let's do it like that. That's not too bad. And they will also need... Let me pause that for a second. And that one. We will need... I don't know why I'm struggling to find things. They've not moved them. They're still in the same place. <laughs> I still don't see them. So... Do a six... By... Maybe a six by ten. Just for them to put their logs in. Again, another six by ten. Six, five. Oh, I've done the other one slightly wrong then. Okay, unless I did it. I think maybe I've just done it a slightly different way. I don't know. It is a. What is wrong with me? Why is the remove? Quick, 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 quick. Remove structures. There we go. Problem is now I can't remember which way around the building is. Oh, never mind. We'll let them build. <laughs> right, so we've got a road. We need to. So we got the bridge. We need to put a road to it. We also need some houses out here. And we could probably do with a little bit of a market as well, somewhere to bring them food. We could build on the edge. Let's let them build first. I don't need to put anyone in them. Right. So we're putting in pigs. We can have one farmer again. Pigs. So let's empty. God, that was quick. Get someone in there. And someone in that one as well. Now hopefully this is going to... Whenever you process any kind of food... It, so let's say um, venison, for example, which you have, is 29. They will produce a lot more food out of that than the original 29. So it is a really good idea. My only worry at the moment is their health. Which we need to do something about. There goes the aquatic pigs. So we can get rid of this building now. But I don't. There's got to be 10 pigs. So hopefully, if they all go in here. There we go. We fit 15 in here. So I can split them eventually. To get some in here. So we just need another pig, really. And that's going to make a big difference to our food. Okay. Let's. Um Let's put someone in here. Let's do the one person. And we will we'll go for firewood. What's that? It's food. I'm not gonna put tons in here for the moment. 
So we could probably put lumber. It'd be interesting. Let's see how much lumber's worth. Logs. Where's firewood? Probably under F. There we are. Let's just put 100 for the moment. Oh, they're both worth exactly the same. Okay, we won't do that. Let's put 200, actually. There we go. What are we doing over here? It's a long old way for them to walk. I've only got the two builders to put an extra one in for now. Right. Oh, our fence has been built around here. Where's the gate? Oh, there. Is that the, is that the gate? I think it is. See, I prefer the ones that are open. Why not? Completely forgot to do the corner, but it doesn't look like they can walk through it. That's slightly annoying, isn't it? Let's see what happens. Wire fence. Where's the corner piece? Is it a wire fence gate piece? Where's the... We want an open one, really, don't we? Hmm. Really worry is now. So if I build those, are they not going to be able to get in there? Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'd be interested to know. Right, I'm going to also start then um, the production of building supplies because we're going to start needing them. So which is the best option? We can't do joists, bricks, glass. Well, bricks take less clay to make than glass. So possibly that one. 25 wood. Yeah, I think we'll go for that one. Because if we look, let's come over here. It takes 23 sand. And that takes 13 clay, so... Seems like the obvious choice. Oh, we've had a death as well. Died of old age. Oh. Orthon... I can't even pronounce that. Orthonton. <laughs> Bit of a weird name. But that, that's the first casualty of our settlement so far. Here we go, split. So we can now split our pigs in half. Which is great. If one's just casually walking off there. Are you going to go in here? Oh, there we go, that might help. And put that to one. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there we are. So what are we doing over here now? Pig butcher. Nothing yet. Venison. So we've got some 13 venison cuts and some tallow as well. What are we doing over here? We start. Oh look, we started. Perfect. Let's get a road. Again, I like my straight roads. And I can force, they're not using them at the moment, but I can force them to. If I really want to. It's looking slightly different. I guess they're using different models for each building. Hmm, interesting. Get any... Okay, so we've got our wood in here. This is a case of waiting for someone to come along now for trading. I haven't they removed that yet. It's not like... Oh, then again, they've got to walk a long distance, haven't they? So we've got five in each. Oh, that's just fantastic. It's just what we need. Anyway, building supplies. Yep, we started that, which is oh, that's just brilliant what we needed. We need two to upgrade that. Oh, and that reminds me. I was reading, as well as when I was talking to um, Shock Puppet. We've got the plantation, so you can actually do your crops via that as well. Non-food crops here. Yeah. So non-food crops such as cotton, flax and tobacco should be grown in this field to avoid using your town's food limit. Use its dry goods limit instead. All dry good crops have a green border. See now that is quite useful. Oh, we have our first trader. What have you got for us? <gasps> food. Well, that's actually good. So, let's take that. We'll buy those. Smoked chili. Let's take some of this. We're overpaying a little bit too much. Let's get, see if I can get this right. Additional 50 units. My maths, by the way, is shockingly poor. So, don't judge. <laughs> That'll do. I don't want to take any barley. 
So there we go. We got our first little bit of food. So straight away, it's already working the way we want it to. Oh yeah, that is the original building. It looks slightly different. The roof looks different. So we need to put in. I don't know, like use all my people for this, but we'll put a pass. Where's the bridge? Oh, look at that. I almost perfectly lined it up. A bit of a lump there in the land, but that's all right. And we've got another one down here as well. That's cool. So what we need to do is what I originally said was a stockpile for wood. We'll just do a gene generic one because they're going to pick up the stone and things like that. So... I if a 5x5 five five will be... Yeah, we'll go with that. And the same again. 5 by 5 They do need their houses. I'm sorry for those of you that kind of know these basics of what we're supposed to be doing. But I've got to go through them just to get things going because obviously these new buildings. So if we take the houses for example. They all need, well that needs fancy furniture supplies. So there's a lot of things we actually need before we can really get into doing them. And even, like we say, upgrading the tailor needs them. See, a large smithy would make sense. We might actually... We're going to upgrade. We'll do that. Got someone wandering around here. What the blacksmith? Oh, that's because I've just upgraded his building. So we'll do that now. We'll get that done. So yeah, there, there is kind of a, a method behind the madness in this. Oh, and remember I spotted this tree. I think there were some other ones over here if I've not destroyed them. Yep. They've added quite a few different looking trees as well. So, it's all good. Let's get a bit more road. Alright, let's have a quick see. We're in late spring, so we've had a few years go by. Food, we're producing quite a bit more than we need now, which is great. That health is still slightly worrying. Why not build a hospital? Not that it makes a huge difference at this stage. I thought I had. Hmm. It's a bit odd. Unless I've loaded the wrong save game. <laughs> That's entirely possible. And we'll put that. Yeah, we'll put that there. Creates medicine and remedies from a wide, if unsavory, range of ingredients. Herbalist. See, I don't build these anymore because you gather the medicine that you need, which is not necessarily a good thing, is it? But it's just by doing the, the gathery is it herbs, wild foods, just doing that, it, it gets you the resources you need. Pig butcher. Still not getting anything for this building. Guess it takes time. They have to slaughter the pigs, and they've got to be full before they can do it, so... Unfortunately, that's not going to happen straight away. How are we doing over here? Look, we've got some logs. Brilliant. Fuel is set 2,000. That's cool. Now, I don't want to put a ton of labourers in here, so if I just put this to 1 for the moment... And we will also chuck in a house... Put that there. Now, probably need two houses for this because it needs four people. Now, I know you can have more than two adults in a house to work. You're going to have the adults that are old enough that don't have a house. But realistically, I think two houses should service this, in my opinion. If I'm wrong, tell me. <laughs> it's just just how I see it. Well, let's have a quick check. That's... See that? That's, that's an awful long way to walk to work, so it definitely does houses over there. And yeah, I might chuck another house in here as well. We're producing food quite nicely now, so... Right, now that's done, we've got these things going. What we need to look into... So we've got building supplies, which is great. So that's one step forward building like the new houses which is what i really want to do as i said i want to build the town center down here 
but we're going to need all the buildings to actually do that in the first place. So, we could do some of the new mining buildings as well. So, we've got the building supplier. I think it's the homeware supplier we need. Shipyard is probably going to be that. So, let's have a look. Prepares homewares. Homeware supplies are crash bursting compiles, resources. Yeah. No, it's not exactly a big building, is it? But, I might kind of keep this this sort of area maybe here it makes sense I suppose we'll put that in there and then we'll see what we actually need to kind of build the, the actual resources for that and that partly will give us what we need again to build the, the new houses I'm kind of glad we've got that going and we can probably build the bigger markets as well now so a quick look To be honest, we probably could have done that a while ago <laughs> because we have got lumber. <laughs> oh, that's too big for here anyway. Oh, that one is really... Oh, is that only edibles though? Yes, yeah, edible food only. Whereas this is a little bit of everything. Actually, I'm quite happy with that one. This one is nice. Well, I guess that's staying the same, but at least I know I can build the various marketplaces. You do need... A market because it supplies the tools and things as well I mean I could put a little one out here just for the for the houses that are in this kind of area these guys will probably go here but as I kind of expand this way a little bit not that I'm not going I'm not really gonna go into this area actually I might just put it this side of the river let's put it there just so they don't have too far to walk when they need to collect stuff what have we got Iron, rug, and bronze. We don't need any of that. But what else can we get from you? Building supply seat. That might be useful. Bricks, clay, charcoal. But, ah, they see homewares and fancy homewares. I might actually stick that on there for now. That's a slight cheat, I guess, in a way. Iron, hull, joist. Okay. Yeah. We'll just put that for just once. Just so we can have a look next time this, this supplier comes. Sorry, not stuff like this trader. Anyway, we've got our hospital up. We're getting our homeware supplier up, which means we're almost, hopefully, at a point of being able to start doing this. And potentially, I might just lay down some roads and some of the buildings ready. But, unfortunately, we've run out of time. So, until next time, as always, take care.